back. Miss you guys, how are you doing today? Let's just start the video with saying I am aware of how rough I look right now. Um, today is one of those days in pregnancy that I just feel really tired. Look at my appearance. I think you look gorgeous, glowing. Well, do you know what? I do feel glowing when I have my gorgeous fiance presenting me with some breakfast as soon as I get downstairs. Thank you so much. You getting the hairline in this vid or not? Stay later on. Guys, today might be the first time you see it. Today is a Sunday. I am actually turning 16 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So that means from tomorrow con, yes, I so. might already be this at the moment, but we'll be in month four of pregnancy, which means only five months left to go. Oh my God. In less than half a year We're con. We're nearly halfway. Yeah, we are nearly halfway. This time next month, we'll be halfway through our pregnancy. Don't you just think that's... Flown by, easy. It, ha it has really, really flown by actually. First trimester, I say this to like all of my friends that are pregnant, which are a few. I feel really lucky to be actually surrounded by so many gorgeous pregnant women at the moment. We always just say that like first trimester really drags, I think, because you can't really tell anybody. Do you know what I mean? Con. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I don't know what you're talking about, but I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> My patience is this thin this morning. Yeah, I feel like up until 12 weeks when it's all a big secret, it just goes really slowly. And then like when you can announce, oh, it, it just really flies fast. by. Yeah, flies. Oh, Con, don't even pretend you know. Oh, <laughs> oh for breakfast, cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, it's so yummy, isn't it? I made a white chocolate and Biscoff cheese cake the other day, and if I do say so myself, it is probably one of the best things I've actually ever baked. It's so yummy. Oh. So yeah, 16 weeks pregnant tomorrow. I'm feeling a bit heartburny this morning. And apparently if you have heartburn in pregnancy, that means that the baby is gonna be born with like a big head of hair, which is exciting. I wasn't born with any hair, but Connor was, weren't you? Connor had like loads of black hair. Was I? So did yes, you did. How do I know that and you don't, Con? Do you know what I mean, Could girls? Me? Jesse was also born with a massive head of black hair. Actually, I think Katie might have been born with hair. Yeah, I think Katie was. You know, Con. How do you know that? Because I've seen baby pictures of Kit Kat. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm feeling heartburny. I'm feeling tired. Um, it's just one of those do. slow pregnancy Sundays. What we darling? Like a, um, a video going through all like the mother's tales of pregnancy. If you have heartburn. Wife tales. Wife tales. Old wife's tales, not mother tales. <laughs> Come on, Con, get your get your head in the camera. <laughs> Come on, I feel like I've been talking to bloody Tom and Jerry in these vlogs recently, because I'm just like no one everyone forgets what you've looked like now, Con. They see me on last video. What are you Anyway guys, also look at this, it snowed in the night and it was such a shock, wasn't it everybody? Wasn't yeah. it guys? Yeah, no clue. Mum and Dad weren't expecting to wake up to snow in the morning, Herbie. You're terrible, aren't you? Keep it nice and dry. But yeah, it snowed. The boys have already had a, do you want to go out again? Had a big play in it. Herbie absolutely loves the snow. Hector's, Hector's finding it fun. But Herbie was actually so excited, and because this is Hector's first time seeing it, he was a bit unsure. No, no. Yeah! Eating his cheese on toast! Love it! Kitchen's a mess, guys. I've done a wash load, I need to hang it all up. You know what it's like, right? Anyway, I thought I could vlog today. This is a really, really spontaneous vlog. I wasn't actually planning on picking up the camera today, but um, basically we've got a really exciting delivery coming today, and that is the wardrobes for the new filming room. So I'm gonna go upstairs in a minute after we've been on our dog walk and um, have like a big chat through with you all what the plans are. But basically, okay, we've got five months left to go of pregnancy right come before we have a physical baby here with us, a physical angel on earth to look after and love for the rest of my life. <laughs> and I'm just really, really excited to start the nursery. And I feel like, I feel like people usually wait till they're a bit further on than I am to start the nursery, but mm. I'm just so excited. I really, really want to start it. And also I know what I get like, and because I am impatient and impulsive and I worry about things and I want to be organized like basically since I was like 10 weeks pregnant I have been obsessed with like cleaning the house and 
organizing cupboards and stuff. I guess it's the whole nesting phase, if you can even start that that early on. People have said that they have to me. Um, maybe I'm just a nesting queen. I know that I'm gonna get really stressed out if I do leave it till like late in my pregnancy because we've not only got the baby room to sort out. Filming, my current filming room is gonna become the baby room and the spare room, which is a shame because I absolutely love the decor in there and it's only been used like two or three times, literally since we've moved into the house over a year ago. It's gonna have to become the new filming room. And people all, always ask why I'm not just like making the spare room the baby's room and why I have to do this big sort out. And it's honestly because my current filming room is the room closest to our bedroom. Obviously baby's not gonna be going into their room straight away, but I just want it closest to me. You know what I mean? Is that so, sensible. Is that so hard to understand? You know? Sensible that is, Ellie. Yeah. You're such a sensible... Like, should there queen. be an... Like, let's not even put this out into the universe, but Don't should there be, it, should there be an emergency? Don't say it. I'd rather just run to the next room than have to go all around the hallway, all around the stairs. It's just more of a faff. So, yeah, we've got two rooms to sort out, and also I want to get the room next door to this room, which is the dining room, sorted out into a playroom. I just... I just feel like I've got a lot to do and stuff like that always really overwhelms me. People might think I'm being OTT with like having all these rooms to sort out, but it's my house, it's my life, you know? I just want these rooms done, basically, ASAP. So we have some new wardrobes arriving for the new filming room so that I can move all my stuff into there and Connor can move all of his stuff, which is currently in the baby's room, into the wardrobe room. So there's a lot to do and the wardrobes are arriving today. And anyway, I just thought it'd be fun to vlog. I'm gonna eat my breakfast now because um, boys wanna go out. Right, we've made it out into the snow and Herbie keeps getting so confused because whenever we throw his ball, it like gathers loads of snow. So he just thinks it's a big snowball and then drops it because it's so cold in his little mouth. Heck, he's having a whale of a time. Still getting used to the snow a little bit. But just finding it so much fun. There are lots of children out today playing in the snow, making snowmen and he keeps running over to them, don't you? And we're just always trying to find Big Bro's ball, aren't we, darling? Where is it? I am wrapped up warm. I've got my lovely coat on. These are my, like, absolute walking essentials. My hat from, hmm, Zara. Lovely, warm, soft, woolly scarf from Boohoo. Coat from Sisters and Seekers. <sighs> Made a rookie error by not wearing gloves. But it's actually not, not that cold, to be fair. Right. Tunes are blasting, boys are on the sofa, Connor's taking a selfie. <laughs> Boy is all nice and clear for the IKEA man to drop off the wardrobes. Um, I don't want to show you this side of the room because there are awesome. babies' items on that side oh, of the I room know. and I feel like they give away the gender. Uh, this is the filming room that you guys all know and love. This is gonna end up being our baby's room in just a matter of months, Con. What do you think about that? Can't wait. Five months time, we're gonna have a little newborn in here. I have to paint it. Yes, you do. <laughs> How are you feeling about that? Right. Oh my God, hairline reveal or what? You forgot about that, didn't you, darling? Uh, I'm doing my Q&A on my story, so. You're feeling good about yeah. it. We decided as well with this room that we didn't want anyone to like, help us like we're doing it ourselves you know what well, I mean? connor's decided that we're doing <laughs> our baby's room no one else yeah. is touching it yeah no that is lovely i do love that you feel like that but we're really excited aren't we like we've got wall stickers that we want to get haven't we yeah oh my god i'm just literally so excited that this is gonna be our baby's room so all of this stuff in here not that you can see much because i'm not really showing you very much everything is going apart from the wardrobe essentially isn't it? yeah and it's all going into the new filming room which is down the hallway down right, here so just for reference that's our bedroom in there Good baby's room in there. in there are we gonna and get a name tag for a baby that would be cute wouldn't it oh and then through here, we have the spare room, which is becoming... Whoa, angel collection, whoa yeah, we. major angel collection sneak peeks. This has become the film room, so as you can see, I mean, it's really not that far. I feel like I'm being a bit dramatic about it, but this I'm not. This is the film room, because it's bigger as well. Yeah, but it's bigger, it's brighter. And also, I feel like I'm completely within my rights as a new mum to want to be super. just super careful with everything, you know? So yeah, this is our beloved spare room that I was literally so excited 
about when we moved into this house. I had like loads of mood boards for it. It's been a lovely space, hasn't it, Con? But time to get rid. But it's time to just... I don't think a single person actually be sat on that No, picture. Lucy Collier did. What, once? My Bessie, Lucy, yeah, she <laughs> sat there. Um, I'll, yeah. make it, I'll make it twice. <laughs> This could go in the baby's room. It could, well, I want a rocking chair. Oh. So, yeah, no, rock. you can't rock in that. Um, so yeah, uh, for everybody asking, because I know there are going to be so many questions, this bed is from the White Company, and no, we are not selling. I want to get rid of it. Connor is desperate to get rid of it because he hates, he hates me when I tell him that I want um, something to go in the garage. But unfortunately hey, for you, Connor. garage, right, we have a double garage, and it's literally full to the brim of stuff from our old house. And just stuff. It's not really Ellie, anymore, Connor. Ellie is literally the hoardiest of hoarders in the whole world. Connor, entire that Harbor. sounds so horrible. The so, hoardiest of because, hoarders. Right, this, anyone wants to put this in the cold garage. This is metal oil rust. Well, do you know what, Connor? I'll pay for storage to have it in a nice you incubated you room. You will not do that. Anyway, I'm not getting rid of it because it is my absolute dream bed and I really want it in the next house. Garage, it will rust and then we'll just have to throw it. So we're just wasting money. Connor, do you know you sound like such a grumpy old git right now? Do you know that? You sound like a grumpy old dad. You sound like a, a strict, annoying parent. How about that? And I'm going to be the cool mum. <laughs> Angels, I think we all know who's going to be the cool parent out of me and Els. Yeah, me, mate. Mm. <laughs> you know what you think of that? <laughs> anyway, guys, you get ready for a nice time lapse. Grab your snacks because we're going to do the bed. <laughs> And me and Con just had a little moment, didn't we, about how excited we, we are, are to decorate little Bubba's room. Because this room being bare, it's not the baby's room, obviously, but just this room being bare really signifies the fact that like a change is coming. We've got things coming. to do, yeah. We've got to decorate the other room. Let me turn the light on. And hopefully this time tomorrow, the wardrobes are going to be there, all done. Do you explain how we're going to do it or should we wait and see? Well, I'm kind of hoping it all comes together really, guys. Basically, because of the beautiful panelling on this wall here and also the layout of the room, when it comes to selling the house in a couple of years or whenever we decide to move, we are going to need to be practical about the fact that this is probably going to be a bedroom for the next people because this is a four bedroom house. If we put the wardrobe on this wall, yeah, it still allows for a double bed to go here. And yeah. There's no issues of getting around it or anything, so it's probably the best practical wise. Yeah, because this here. wall this here is kind of an awkward, awkward space. Because there's no plug sockets or anything. Yeah. There's nothing you can really do with that. Yeah, so we thought wardrobe's probably best to go like in this corner here. And then what I'm planning on doing, providing it all goes okay, is I'm gonna have my dressing table and mirror here because there's a plug socket there. Um, this chair may be in this corner. I'm gonna see how it all fits. And I don't and know, we're just gonna- Leave this open so all the light comes in. Yeah, go with the flow really, aren't we? I'm gonna get some nice prints and stuff up here, some nice shelving and storage, a beautiful rug. Um, so now we are gonna take the mattress down. But I just can't believe, I honestly just cannot believe that this time tomorrow, Boo, our baby's room. We'll be ready for us to actually do stuff. Tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be like empty. Ready for baby decoration. decoration. It makes me so excited. What's going on? Whoa, look the boys at you guys. The castle, boys. Is that a bouncy castle? Are you? Are you helping? Quick check over. Oh, all fine. Pretty it's cool hair. Your water hair. <laughs> <laughs> <Come here. laughs> oh, oh. You're right, Heck. 
doesn't look very comfortable. Whoa, Abby! Oh, he's down, he's down! Total wipeout! <laughs> Come on then, Herb, get back on, look! Come on then! Yeah. Herb is the best at total wipeout, are you, Herb? <laughs> These big claws grip. <laughs> you can't get Come up. On. Come on, up here. Whoa. Up here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I know you're good at it. I know you are. He's yes, not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, you're so brave, aren't you? Yes, Herbie, we all know you're a pro at climbing mattresses. Oh, oh no, it's busy. It's in the water. <laughs> Up here. Up here, come on. He's so not come sure. On, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Well done. Well. well done. You made it to the safe oh, zone. I'm not going back down. <laughs> Slip and slide. <laughs> Head first, Jack. <laughs> what is this racket? Day, everybody. Um, Connor Swift, I'm so impressed with this, guys. Let me just all tell you something. Connor Swift is not naturally a DIY guy, are you, darling? You're on a bar, look at me. Well, you're doing so well. Far, oh, look I, need to, I need to learn some time, eh? Look who's coming to help. Hello, big, beautiful boy. Yeah, Dad's doing some DIY, guys. We can't believe that, can we? I'm stuck, Herbie, help! Herbie, help! 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 I'm trapped in Where prison. Where is he, boys? I'm in prison, Herb. Help! You, the jail guards, you gonna let him out, Herb, or not? No! <gasps> I think he's breaking ah. free! Ah. Oh. Herb is not impressed. He said that wasn't a very fun game. Yeah, so Connor Swift, as he has already said earlier in this vlog, really wants to do everything himself because he is a father to be. I'm and that is just one of the many reasons why I'm marrying this guy. Lucky girl, aren't you? I am. So is our children, our human baby, and our Labrador baby. Oh, Herbie, that was a lovely handshake. Can you handshake. Know, sneak this in the corner, see how of it looks? Of course. Look, guys, by the way, bump is popping today in my jumpsuit. I'm 16 weeks. 18 years, 18 years. She got one of your kids, got you for 18 years. <laughs> to show you today. Don't mind the fact that I literally look... Herbie, you're you are. Um, oh, you're lying. <laughs> you have shown that? so much bravery in this vlog, Herbie. First of all, climbing the mattress. That? Now you're climbing the chair. I think you're showing off a bit. Oh. Oh, cool, Mum. Mm. Yeah. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> oh, cool. Hi, darling. Why are you laying on top of my chair? You've never done that before. You've literally never done that, <laughs> have Um, Don't mind the fact that I literally look exactly the same as I've looked. All this vlog, so rough. Um, This is home... Life. Home life. But what's the word? Like, life. we're changing rooms around life. Anyway, we've got a big update to show you guys. I want to start off this clip by saying I could not be prouder of my incredible fiance. Speech, speech. I literally cannot believe that Connor has managed to do this so well. 
and DIY isn't really your forte, is it? Typically, normally. No, it used to be, but now. This has really impressed me, and I think you're really becoming baby daddy life. You know, yeah. I'm just so impressed. Like Con did all of these wardrobes on his own, pretty much, and he's done all the trimmings for me. He's done all of the drawers, all of the clothing rails. He's even done the lights. I'm just so impressed. I can't wait for you guys to see. So. For the big reveal part one, because we are changing like all of the actual room in the baby's new room into this room today. We've not done that yet, but just show you guys the wardrobes and Con is incredible. Um, yeah, here we go. So this is how the room Look is looking, everybody. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you guys are so proud of that, aren't you? You can't be quite believe it, can you, Herb? Excuse me, it's my toolkit. <laughs> he's just checking there was nothing in there to make you cheat at it because he's done it so well, and he have. So these are the new wardrobes. Here they are. We've moved um my stuff over in here as well now. Have you moved all of it? Pretty much, yeah. Wow, babe. yeah, just my shoes I need to do. So here we go. Here is wardrobe number one. So what have you got in there? You've got a shoe rack at the bottom. A shoe rack at the bottom that I've put a few of my shoes in. We've got three drawers, which does mean that the space up top for my clothes is a little bit cramped for jumpers in winter. But I don't really mind because I do need the drawer space to be fair. Um, we've got my jewellery all laid out in here. Oh, Anna. That's my jewellery. <laughs> and yeah, the lights. So that's wardrobe number one. And then in this one, got some lights again. This is just storage. So um, one thing I struggled with in my other filming room slash overall is that I literally have not had anywhere to like put- Let me, let me make a wish. Oh my God, what am I wishing for today? Mm, I don't know what I'm wishing for. What are you wishing for? I can't tell you that. Well, I wish that our baby grows up and sees this video yeah. of how much effort their dad put into yeah. their room. Um, yeah, I, I have never really had like much storage space for bits and bobs, like fake tan, perfume, hair styling stuff, odd bits of makeup, you know? So I really wanted to get some drawers so I could put some stuff in there and I'm gonna get like little baskets, I think, to make everything look all neat and tidy but just at the moment we've got my um straighteners color waver then we've got the dyson air up there and then this one you actually need to turn the light on over there because there's no like sensor in front of it but this is my other wardrobe i'm gonna put some shoes in here as well and that's the wardrobe space and i literally i'm so happy about it and i could not be prouder of con and if you guys could all comment below saying well done con that would make his day wouldn't it be yeah, my king so we've moved the chest of drawers from the wardrobe room over here as well because that's all my stuff in there. We've got the white company um, butler's tray over there but I think I'm going to move it back into where it was normally which was here. And now we're about to start moving the furniture over from there. baby's room into here aren't we? So it's not actually much to be fair. All it, all it is is your, chest, your dressing table and mirror. Yeah. Because the sofa, unfortunately, we don't have any room for, I don't think. And so we're gonna we have, have to. Get rid of no room for yeah, it. which is so sad because I love it. Unless, Con, you think that would look good in the playroom. Maybe. I think it would, actually. Maybe, actually. Ours are smart. We'd have to put like rugs on top of it and stuff because yeah. a white furniture in a playroom might not go so well. But it's like the perfect set, really, isn't it? Because it's a sofa bed. Oh, we put it down there now, like well, for now, anyway. Yeah. Oh my god, we're going to be renovating the whole house today, aren't we? <laughs> we're going to literally be moving the dining room about. Oh, I want to have a Call cool Duty day as well. <laughs> yeah, because you, you so deserve it, but we're nearly there. How about you have... Today is Tuesday. How about for the rest of the week after this, you have Call of Duty week? Was it Wednesday? And I buy you a Prezi. How about <gasps> that? <gasps> All right. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have to get pregnant. You, because they yeah. did help you, didn't you? Both of you did that for me. <laughs> Don't stomp your foot, Herbie. Did you see that, Con? No. Did you stomp your poor Herb? Oh my god, hecky, don't bite his leg like that. Don't show the angels how vicious you two are. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Emperor hecky <laughs> coming in. <laughs> Boys, we're on best behaviour in front of the angels, aren't we? Don't just bite Herbie's back, hack. Hello, everybody. 
just thought I'd quickly check in. Um, the room just, is finished. And I've just cooked his dinner. So That's I finished the room and Eddie cooked his dinner. So it was a team effort. But you're taking credit for this most beautiful, stunning dinner. Honestly, guys, TikTok pasta recipes will seriously Change your finish life. me off. I just am ob absolutely obsessed with all these incredible people in America that can just recreate the... Did you know what this one is? Olive Garden fettuccine mm. recipe. It's so yummy. Have, you done, have we done the um, Cheesecake Factory one yet? We'll do that one next, I reckon. Did I not do that? Is that a Cheesecake Factory one or far as Kendall Jenner? No, that wasn't Ken. No, it's not Kendall Jenner, though. It's Gigi Hadid. Gigi! Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the Cheesecake Factory one, though, the Cajun oh, one. Oh, so I'll compare this to the cheesecake. This is a lot creamier. I don't think this is going to be more of your thing. Do you want me to taste it? I'll show you guys. Look how yummy this actually Look, that that's, could have been ordered. That's just come out of like a Mission Star restaurant, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it totally has. It's seriously so yummy. And then we've got our favourite ever garlic bread. This is the um, cheese and garlic flatbread by Tesco's, and it's our favourite, isn't it? Express. I've got a Vimto fizzy because I just, oh, I just love it right now. Anyway, I just thought I'd come and check in and say hello. The room is finished, so I'm going to go up and show you in a sec. It looks absolutely incredible, it looks, doesn't it? It actually, angels, I'm not... Con's jealous. It actually looks pretty darn good, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Like from, cause the only difference really is the room. Everything from yeah. the old film room is in the new film room. Yeah. All there is is a few extra wardrobes, but it looks yeah. 10 times better. It does look so good. And the baby's room is pretty much empty. Have you sorted out your wardrobe in there yet? Mm. I've taken everything out of it, yeah. Because the most exciting thing that I'm so excited to do is put our baby's clothes up in their wardrobe. Mm. In my tummy. Also, we're watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I remembered that I've spoken to you on Instagram about this, but I haven't updated anybody in the vlog, I don't think. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Oh my God, I just literally can't get enough, guys. My older sisters have watched The Real Housewives. It's for a decade, much, basically, yeah. yeah. Like, they've watched basically every single season there is. I have always wanted to get into it, but I just couldn't. And I thought, you know what, this lockdown, that's what I'm going to get into. So right now, we're about halfway through the first series of The Real Housewives. And it is so good. I just love Beverly Hills. We love LA, don't we? Love LA. Would move down a heartbeat if I could. <laughs> You'll catch me on the next season of The Real Housewives. Hey <laughs> Darby, with that intro, you <laughs> spin around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's ready for the big reveal? The big reveal too. Ready, ready. Ah. Oh, Ricky! That was a lovely reveal position. Oh my gosh, you guys. I actually cannot believe this, but look at my beautiful new studio slash filming room slash wardrobe space slash dressing room slash most incredible Instagrammable room of the house. So, do you want to give this, give us the grand tour, darling? So, to your left hand side, angels, you will see the amazing IKEA Pax wardrobes handcrafted and put up by Moa. Then we have Ellie's um, chest drawers that we took from the old wardrobe room. Yeah. A dressing table, Hollywood mirror, big mirror, outfit mirror, and we've also got a little fox in here. We've got a little <laughs> wild fox, haven't we? That we captured. <laughs> and we get him captured forever. <laughs> What's the time, Mr. Fox? And then I've put the butler tray over here. Oh, the lampshade. It's... Wonk. So yeah, we've got butler's tray here. Bags. Oh my God, look at this beautiful pregnant statue that I ordered. It's actually so stunning, isn't it? That's me. I just love it. I just love all of my decor in here. It's just absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased with it. So it just feels like so much room, so much fun. And my fantastic fiance did an amazing job. Thank you, thank you. Coming over here, obviously ignore the state of the room. Connor has been clearing out his wardrobe from the baby's room. Um, but yeah, this is the space. 
So we've realised what we actually need to do with this room because if you guys have been watching for a while you know that the mirror doors just fell off basically as soon as they were put up. We just need to order some more doors really so I'm going to get them ordered this week. Does anyone want any broken mirror doors? And now that Connor is a DIY king... I can attach them, no problem! <laughs> got your drill, haven't you? Yeah, wherever that's gone. A lampshade for this room, I want to get a piece of art... Stop showing off all the angel oh, sneak peeks. Look at that, Are you kidding me? Tidy up, obviously. We've got Surely another big I mirror get to here. I what art is going to be because it's my wardrobe room. Maybe like a Connor. painting of some shoes, some really cool shoes or something like that. Maybe with some Dior or high top. <laughs> so, here is Baby's room. All, well, pretty much empty. This is all like rubbish stuff over here. And then, I think that's actually the first thing of the babies that you're seeing, is little cuddly toys. <gasps> little that, alpaca! Um, oh. Baby's nan has bought them, Con's mum. I literally can't show them because that's <gasps> going to show them the, like, gendered, coloured stuff. Oh, this! Yeah. No, behind oh, you. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. This is a sofa bed that was always in this room and an armchair. But now that the room is all, like, empty and spacious, we can Stop do... Planning proper measurements, start planning and envisioning it, think about colours. And I literally cannot believe that we have a semi-empty room. Ready for a baby. Ready to start decorating for a baby. For a little human, a miniature human, that will be our responsibility. How crazy is that, Hector? Really? Uh... I'm gonna be your brother. I'm gonna be brother. Wow, hecky. This is what we'll have to do. Rock a bye, baby. <laughs> Oh so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog and hanging out with us and um, starting to prepare the house for the baby to arrive. Do you know what? Long left. It it sounds like it's going to be a while, like five months, but honestly, I feel like it's going to absolutely fly by. Do you know what I mean? We're almost happy for already. That's flown. Yeah, can't believe flown it. Flown by. Anyway, we love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it as a little extra upload of ours this week. We love you guys so much. We have we potentially got a, big week um, up. a really exciting video that you have all been waiting for since the day we announced we were pregnant. <laughs> Potentially coming at the end of this oh. week. Everybody keep your fingers crossed. Give the video a like if you want to see the video on Sunday. Um, I know I do. Yeah, keep your fingers crossed that at our scan this week, baby is going to play ball and allow us to confirm. determine and confirm the official gender of baby Swift. If they do, obviously, Sunday. there will be a gender reveal. Um, if they don't, because it is still a little bit early, I think, in a scan to be able to tell. I think you can, like, 1,000% really obviously see what gender it is by 20 weeks. So because I'm, like, 16 and a half by the time we have the scan, mm, I'm just really hoping that we will be able to see. Because some people do, some people don't. So we're keeping all our fingers crossed, aren't we? We are. So both of them crossed and my, and my toes. <laughs> Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Love ya.